Checky check, 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 mic, check, mic, check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world. And welcome to the Friday end of week edition of Mark, that's me, my words, where we follow trading, traveling and training. Before I do get into this very quick video, please do hit the subscribe button down there if you haven't done so already. Uh, hop on board and say hello in the comments section. So what have we got here then? Friday, Friday, after hours Friday. Uh, what I've done here is I wanted to, um, regular viewers will know that I always encourage taking a bigger picture view. And because today was a red day, uh, I wanted to do the chart like this so you get the bigger picture view uh, from yesterday. Because yesterday, <laughs> it was phenomenal, wasn't it? We were all getting really excited and rightly so. What we did have yesterday were these uh, steps, step ups, um, which is always good to see. You have a rise, you consolidate, you go up, you consolidate, you go up, you consolidate, you go up, you drop down. No, I'm joking. Uh, listen, uh, pullbacks. So what I've done is I've drawn here, uh, this was yesterday's um, ascending level of support, today's uh, descending level of resistance, which we did break out of about 90 minutes before the close of trading, and then we held that area there. But the important thing on this for me is the the fibs, putting the fibs on, because if you look at it over a two day period, the pullback is absolutely healthy and where you would want it to be. Sure, we tested that 50% uh, area, but we quickly rebounded from there and we settled on the 38.2% uh, pullback. Nice and healthy going into the weekend. Very, very positive for me. Um, I'm excited for next week. There is some talk about um, end of month next week, how that may affect things. Um, so let's see. I've been away from my computer today, um, so I've not seen any news. I'm going to jump on the news after this uh, and see what's been happening throughout the day. But all in all, for me, despite finishing, you know, one and a half percent down on the day, if you look at it at the bigger picture, you know, it's good. It's healthy. So very, very positive for GameStop. Over to AMC and I applied the same philosophy here just to give that overall bigger picture view. Um, and it's a similar pattern. Yesterday we had this, uh, I've not drawn it on. Uh, yesterday continuing into today, you have this uh, ascending level of support here. You know, that kind of zone, um, which you know, carried on into today. Then we broke down over that quite violently. Uh, again, you know, this is manipulation for me. I don't believe for a second that that's uh, retail. Um, again, we get that, uh, where are we? Descending level of resistance, which we popped up again. Um, you know, we were going quite nicely. Then we got another manipulative period. We consolidated for a while there and then we managed to pop back up and we're sitting pretty on the 50% retracement over two days. So yesterday, again, similar to GME, was a very, very good day price action wise for us bulls, for us diamond hands, for us apes strong together. Um, and the pullback today, in my opinion, perfectly healthy. So that's about it going into the weekend. Uh, like I said, end of month next week. So let's see what that brings, if anything at all. Um, and relax, relax, look at the bigger picture, look at the two day um, chart in there. Uh, and you can see that we are sitting pretty, sitting pretty for the weekend. I do hate the weekends now. I <laughs> I think for the first time in my life, I look forward to Mondays, um, not just because of the, the meme stocks, but, um, you know, the, the last two years that I've got into trading, the weekends, the weekends have become a bit of a bore, to be honest. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for you troops. So going into the weekend, look after yourselves, take care of yourselves, wherever you are, be kind to each other and diamond hands. Cheers, troops.